morning and welcome to Munich to an Electronica. I'm here on the Pico stand and would like to take you for a small walk round to meet some of my colleagues and see some of the things we've got on show this year. So follow me here. Stuart. Morning, sir. How are you doing? Uh, good morning, Keith. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. So maybe you could talk a little bit about what we're doing here. Oh, yeah. So I've got a 6000 series running um, some I squared C data. You can see um, the clock and the data here with our PS7 software. I'm also running on an virtual environment a Linux application that runs uh, Picoscope 7. That's interesting. I'm sure we'll hear more about that later on. So follow me around and I'll introduce you to uh, Patrick. Morning, Patrick. How are you doing this morning? So, 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 so it's yet another year of Electronica. So, could you just talk a little bit about some of the demonstrations that you've got here? Of course. Uh, here we show our latest version of the Kalex L decoder. Basically, we have one frame capturing one Dassel return, one KNFD, one Kalex L, and one Kalex L PWM signal, and we can decode all four of them in one decoder. It's quite convenient. And here we have a deeper look at our deep measure technology. That allows a lot of data within a, short, a few short cuts. So we're actually showing some of the latest CAN standards here, aren't we, today? That's right. Um, CAN Excel is barely released yet, so we are actually more than state of the art with this CAN Excel decoder at the moment. And again, as Stuart mentioned, this is all on our new version 7 software. This right. is. Yes, we have. So no. as soon as we have a scope, we have the latest version of CAN Excel decoder, and we don't have to pay any extra for this. So, so, thank you, Patrick. Let's okay. move on and uh, say hello to Trevor. <laughs> morning, Trevor. How are you doing, sir? Good morning, Keith. Uh, nice to see you. So, uh, yes. So, so, we're going around at the moment, just showing a little bit about talking about the new systems, but maybe you can talk about what you're doing. But we've already heard from Patrick and Stuart uh, a little bit about our new version 7 and some of the things about that. Maybe you could go into a little bit more detail. Okay, so PicoScope 7 is our new generation user interface for all of the current generation Picascopes and many of the previous generation ones. There are versions for Windows, Linux and Mac, so feature parity across all three platforms. Picascope 7 is uh, it, it's really the next generation. It supports big screens, high, high, uh, high resolution screens, multi window screens, so that with the complexity of people that are working on the, the designs that people are working on now, we've got the ability to put all of that information, not cram it all onto one small screen, but have it displayed on a large high resolution screen or multiple high resolution screens. So it enables people to get a much better view of the signals that they're working on. And this is quite amazing and, and particularly where you can separate out like separate channels and go on to separate screens as well. Yep. Um, and in the example I'm showing here, on the bottom, so we're, we're running uh, one instance of a picoscope, but on the bottom screen, I'm showing the time domain representation. We've got a uh, about a, a low frequency, of, well, in fact, it's a, a 20 kilohertz um, waveform, but on top of that waveform, we've injected another high frequency waveform, an uncorrelated waveform at about 2 uh, megahertz. And using the flexible resolution capabilities of the Picoscope 5000 that we see here, we can pick out that, that high resolution interference that's sitting on top of that um, of that low frequency signal. It's and then on the top screen, we, we're showing the frequency domain representation of those two signals. So, so this is great, and um, it's a real reason to come on the stand over the next few days, and we can give a full demonstration of this this brand new software that we're uh, demonstrating here today. So, let's, thank you very much, Trevor. Let me carry on round and show you one of the other stands. So this is my colleague Stuart Two, um, who was around a little while ago. So morning again, Stuart. Morning. Maybe you could show a little bit more about it. Yeah. So what we've got here is our, our data logging solution, our data log cloud. So what you can see there, we're monitoring some of the environmental conditions that are, are in our head office facility. So I've remotely accessed that. Uh -huh. And down here we also have a TCO8, which we're looking at some tight cable. Our data logging solution our software that allows you to you know, manage your data quickly and effectively. So we look forward to seeing you. That's great. Uh, we're also loading up onto the cloud now as well, our bit of data loggers, aren't we? That's right. Uh, so this, this version of the cloud allows you to remotely uh, store your, your, your yep. data in, in the cloud. Which is a new feature. So thank you, Stuart. Thank Hi. you very much. So morning, Melanie. Hi. So, uh, Morning, good sir. Morning. So, so you're doing some uh, assisting us to, over the next few days with uh, some of our technology. Maybe you could talk about technology and a little bit specifically around where your expertise sits within this. Yeah, well, especially RF starts when your oscilloscopes are on the top end. So RF is 
basically mostly the measurement capability of these picoscope or pico technology or DNA. What we can do with that is measuring RF filters, antennas, as as you see. Uh, we can do on very very uh, various mm -hmm. displays showing the matching, showing the half loss, showing and some stuff. special functionality from this VNA, for example, how to measure amplifiers. So we also brought some amplifiers with us. So when you're interested in that, we can show you how to do a really nice amplifier measurement with this VNA. So that's great. Thank you very much.